the Orioles, and they have a chance to not close the chapter fully. There are still goals to get, but close the chapter on a historic division title. Yeah, what a run it's been. I mean, on game 159, a chance to win their 100th game, be the sixth time in franchise history. The Orioles have won at least 100 games, so it could happen tonight. 27-year-old Dean Kramer making his 32nd start of the year. That is, of course, a career high, along with a career high innings pitch as well, 167 and a third. Sadon Rafael is going to lead off tonight. And then a cutter out, three different pitches, and a ground out against the speedy Rafael. Here's Devers, who was given the night off last night. And walks him. Devers are in that one. That'll bring up Yoshida. Yoshida with a high pop to left center field. Mateo's out, Hayes is in. And this is Austin's ball from deep left for out number two. Alex Verdugo, Red Sox cleanup hitter tonight. On an 0-2, Kramer burns Verdugo. Chris Sale. Six and four with a 442, making his 20th and final start of the season. The Austin Hayes. Fly to center, Rafaela on the move, back it up to make the play. Adley hitting from the right. Hit softly on the charge, Valdez to glove it and cuts him down. Two retired, no score, bottom of the first for Anthony Santander. The ninth pitch of the sequence is demolished out to left field. That ball is gone. Put that wall as far back and as high as you want. Anthony's still going to clear it. The Orioles strike first in the possible clincher on a Santander smash. Come on, Tony. Let's get the party started the right way. Now here's Ryan Mountcastle hitting right-handed. Swings at the first pitch and lofts it into short left center field. Abreu being called off by the center fielder, Rafael. The catch is made, and the inning is over. Now it'll be Trevor Story to begin this second inning. This pitch he does make contact on, but it's not very dangerous. Ryan Mountcastle on the warning track in foul ground. Here is N. Manuel Valdez. Goodbye. Well, he's playing <laughs> pepper with James's glove tonight. A strikeout ends a one, two, three second for Dean Kramer. Aaron Hicks will lead off against Chris Sale. Oh, yeah. Little fly ball here for Rafaela. Sadon will cruise in to make the catch. Here's Jordan Westberg, right handed hitter. That one powered in there for strike three. It'll be Bobby Dahlbeck. Swing and a miss. Down is Dahlbeck. Here's Sadon Rafaela. Down to third, Gunnar Henderson. Three balls, three outs. And the third for Dean Kramer. He's got the good stuff tonight. Now here's Jorge Mateo. Mateo, a looper in the right. That's down for a base hit. Here's Austin Hayes. Mateo's on the run, and let's see what happens here. This ball's in left back. field, and this ball is caught by Abreu. And Mateo was able to get up from his head first plunge, retreating to first on out number two. I don't think he stepped back on. I don't think he retouched. In Ten. fact, you are exactly right. There they we just go. And then on the appeal, double him up. Bang. It is a double play uh -huh. and retires the side. Just moments ago, a special announcement here at Camden Yards. Earlier today, the Orioles, Governor Westmore, the state of Maryland, and the Maryland Stadium Authority have agreed to a deal that will keep the Orioles in Baltimore and at Camden Yards for at least the next 30 years. Let's move the other way into right field for a base hit. Anthony Santander blasting a home run in the first inning. Breaking ball hammered. Out at second, out at first. Mountcastle's board for Hicks. Slow ground ball here to Dahlbeck. Back to the base for out number three. Trevor Story to lead off the Boston fifth inning. The looper into right field, and there's the Red Sox first hit. Off the end of the bat for Trevor. Here comes N. Manuel Valdez. Swing and a miss. He got him. There's the power hitting Bobby Dahlbeck. He went away on the night. Little tapper to first. Dean covers in time. Oh, wow. Here's Gunnar Henderson to lead off the bottom half of the fifth. A swing and a miss here. Down goes Henderson. It's the eighth hitter, catcher James McCann. Jacked into right center field, long run, Rafaela into the gap, he'll make the play. Dean Kramer, in the month of September, he has not gotten it out past the fifth inning. He's trying to change that today on a night where he has really been dealing. At short, Mateo, and it eats him alive. Lean off man on base for Sedan Rafaela. Golfed out to right, Santander has to race on, coming out westward, but the right fielder makes the call on the catch. One out now. Devers stands in. 
Devers yeah. right field. That's a base hit. Yank to change up. Wong turning second on his way to third. Connor Wong gives the Red Sox runners at the corners with his dash around second. And that is going to do it for Dean Kramer. Two gone now, and it's going to send up Alex Verdugo. Three and two. A ground ball to second base. Jordan Westbrook is there. D.L. Hall slithers out of the straight jacket. The right-hander Winkowski in to face Jorge Mateo. He'll fly that one to right field. Verdugo back feeling for the wall. Gets the track, leaps up. He really didn't have to, but <laughs> he's got it for the out. Less people there that night than He gets a ground ball to Raffi. Devers on target. Fast inning. They are nine defensive outs away from celebrating their 10th American League East title in franchise history. Lofted into center field by Story, and it's three up, three down for D.L. Hall. Left on left here is Valdez bats. Two down and a ground ball to second. Jordan Westbrook's there. This one's a little more routine. Six outs to get for the Orioles. Yanir Cano taking over this game in the top of the eighth. Chopped toward the hole, a dive and a miss by Westberg and threw for a base hit. It's Rafaela. Rafaela goes down swinging. He gets two outs. The Orioles need four more and they will turn to Ciel Perez. On the ground right side. Could be a tough play. O'Hearn. Perez got the bag. Perez barehanded that ball. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Adam Frazier pinch hitting against the new pitcher, Zach Kelly. That's a ball. Yes, indeed it is. There's your leadoff walk. And Heston Kerstad is now going to step up and bat. Left center field off the end of the bat. Rafaela coming in. It's a big hit for Kerstad. It kicks away. Here comes Frazier around third, and he will score. Heston Kerstad in his 10th career big lead game drops in a base hit. It kicks away from the Boston outfield, and the Orioles have a big insurance run. Now you need just three more. And a win tonight seals the deal, an American League East championship. And tonight, it will be Tyler Wells, another former Rule 5 pick, to try to send the Orioles to the American League East title. A little check swing ground to the new shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. One down. 1-2, Verdugo with a ground ball off the glove of Wells. He picks, he shovels. O'Hearn got his foot on the base. And there is one out to go. The 1-1 one -one to Story is grounded to third. Ramon Arias from third. The Orioles have done it. Go crazy, Baltimore. You are the new champions of the American League East. This Oriole team, they have been through so much. Two years ago, 100 losses. Two years later, 100 wins. And the road to the World Series in the American League will run right through Baltimore, Maryland.